to wish you all a very good afternoon and welcome to the very lovely Charlton Hall on this very special occasion. We are here today to celebrate the marriage between Heather and Luke, who today will make their vows, exchange wedding rings with each other and promise to share their lives before you all, their guests, family and friends. Now, I'd like to bring your attention uh, back to the reason why we're actually all here today. Let's just celebrate our marriage. Heather, you'll absolutely go to the level. Oh, oh, Maybe we are supposed to meet the wrong people before we meet the right one, so that when we finally meet the right person, we will know how to be grateful for that gift. Maybe it is true that we don't know what we have got until we lose it, but it is also true that we don't know what we have been missing until it arrives. Maybe the happiest of people don't necessarily have the best of everything. They just make the most of everything that comes along their way. Maybe the best kind of love it's the kind where you can sit on a sofa together and never say a word and then walk away feeling like it was the best conversation you've ever had. Maybe you shouldn't go for looks, they can deceive. Don't go for wealth, even that fades away. Go for someone who makes you smile, because it takes only a smile to make a dark day seem bright. Maybe you should hope for enough happiness to make you sweet, enough trials to make you strong, enough sorrow to keep you human and enough hope to make you happy. Maybe love is not about finding the perfect person, it's about learning to see an imperfect person perfect. I remember it was the first time I stared at, stared at yours after a night out in town. Hang <laughs> fire, hang fire. No, no, hang fire. But eh, uh, and you said you were going to put a film on before bed, and I thought, right, okay, and they open over it. And you reached for the DVD player and you put Carry On Camping on. <laughs> and I just, I just thought to myself, I says, oh, I says, this is class. Like, she's got my sense of humour. I couldn't believe it. But eh, uh, full disclosure, uh, more so for the grandparents. <laughs> um, the only bit of skin I got to say that night was on a young Barbara Windsor. After what was a heavy weekend, to round up a quality couple of days, those who would still stand went to a heavy metal club, not a big surprise for Luke. Uh, I left at around 2.30 in the morning, leaving Luke to headbang away into the even earlier hours. About half past four, Luke stumbles into the hotel room, trying his best to be quiet, but like not succeeding at all. Um, I wake up and I see him clutching a McDonald's bag like a baby, uh, and I try and go back to sleep. But after a few minutes go by, I hear him like shuffling and there's like a bleeping noise. And I'm like, I don't understand what's happening. So eventually Luke goes to his bed, presumably eats his McDonald's, goes to sleep. Next morning, I ask him, well, what was the crap? What was, what, what was all that bleeping last night? Um, and he replied to this, he says, well, my McDonald's was cold. So when I got back, I thought I'd warm it up in the microwave. He hadn't realised it was the hotel set. <laughs> So it's now my privilege and my very great pleasure to pronounce that you are indeed husband and wife together. Would you like to kiss? I think they would.
When Heather was at school, she went on a ski trip to France. I learned years later that the food was not that great. So with her friend, she sneaked back up the mountain to buy crepes. She has always had that independent rebel girl streak. She doesn't like mushrooms, but she loves Dauphinois potatoes. She loves rock music, film and theatre. She is Harry Potter mad. She loves her job and the kids she looks after and educates. She loves a quiz, she loves puzzles, cats, tattoos, games and art. But most of all, Luke, she loves you. Like you see, Heather has been coming to our house for many years now. And uh, Heather, it's, it's been a pleasure. Honestly. And uh, I'm just glad that you are finally part of the Bell family. And uh, with that, I'd just like to say again, I'd like to thank everybody for coming. Enjoy the rest of the day and the night, because we intend to do. I'm sure Luke and Heather are. So, uh, like I say, I'd just like the, everybody to raise a glass. And the toast is to Luke and Heather. So once again, ladies and gents, welcome to Charlton Hall. We're here to celebrate the wedding of Heather and Luke.